Students and stakeholders in the educational system gathered at the launch of the BMI initiative, which has a sixth sense approach to its methodology for kids between the ages of 7 and 14. It was developed as a means to securing the future of young Nigerians by inculcating the entrepreneurship approach to life. Using textbooks, workbook, discussion book, video recorded lessons, cartoon series, practical manual, and train the trainers manual, schools have been encouraged to adopt the initiative. The entrepreneurs are the ones contributing over 80% of the GDP. Why the ones that went to school are frustrated due to lack of job? You see that we need to groom more entrepreneurs and give them education. If you have educated entrepreneurs, the sky will be the limit, will be our starting point as a nation. So let's inculcate while we're teaching them other things, you know, numeracy, grammar, let's inculcate in them that spirit of creativity, innovation, problem solving and that Nigeria will be better for it and Africa in general. I've just been blown away by the kids. The wisdom that they have shared is for everyone. It's not just, you know, and they, they've, they've spoken very maturely and I think they're a reminder for us that children are not as uh, immature as we think. They've spoken about things like personal discipline, time management, resilience, um, values. I think that's a good spur for many graduates who are getting frustrated looking for jobs. To remember that Besides getting a job, you can also do something for yourself. We find out that the educational system somehow is missing teaching them about entrepreneurship while they are at a young age, in primary school, secondary school. And by the time they finish secondary school or university, we find out, we find out that it's very difficult for them to get engaged into the workforce. We need to make sure that our children you know, become independent. Developed as a long-term plan for Nigerian children, the initiative is a call to action for educational reform that will shape the future of young minds in the country. Fadi Sholashu Tingwa, Arise News.